good, not good, not good, not good, not good. This is not good. Conjunction of this fias. Whoa. 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 Well, I'm gonna take all of this stuff. I hope Tris doesn't mind. Because I certainly don't care if the other guy minds. Is try to stop me. Shoot, like, I mean, they like, that's like chucking stuff out the windows and stuff. I mean, okay. What's this? What's this? What's this red thing? I mean, look at it. Okay. Herbs? Roots? Just turned to healing? I guess she was pretty, uh, battle mage ish. She helped in the, she was one of the, like, 14 mages or whatever on the hill. A book. My evening with a vampire. Of course she freaking chose that one. Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Really? Ignite? Ignite what? Oh, the candle. It's on the book. No, no, no. Books. Yep. Yes, she's trying to figure out. Okay, though, okay, so this is a thing, is this is not Emir. Emir will actually let, like, like, tr like, Yennefer is working for Emir. Um, so as long as they prove useful, I think he tolerates them. But this town is not tolerating them. Are they tied at all to witch hunters? Um, the, the, the eternal fire? They are, like, they are the, kind of the same thing. Salt Peter, or explosives, whoop. I felt something. Was I like standing on something or is it I see a red thing over there, but Oh, oh, it's right there. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Yes, I remember that. That turned out very horribly for her in the books. A bestiary. Uh -huh. For fork tails, okay. Pound a stick in the soil, find a goat to it, and then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. guys honestly it's a good thing this game is so brightly colored and pretty because otherwise I don't think I could handle some of this really horribly depressing stuff and the music and everything is pretty upbeat most of the time and otherwise stuff like that I don't know I don't know if I could handle that the, the details that render this game very expressive also make pain and suffering equally as interesting as watching minute facial expressions when people are trying to lie or or express happiness or something, you know, or or thinking about something. The beast lured by the Caprine Order will fall with will without fail soon come. It is a griffin you need to seek to slay. Hecky Buckthorn, yep, yep, yep. It, it is known to all and under that fish and rotting mall so there were less patrols. Common hooch is their weakness, okay. Yep, we read that. Mm-hmm. We read that. Read that, uh huh. Got a follower's flame. Yep, yep, yep. Conjunction of the spheres. Possible scholars have many vices. Possibly the worst among them is a tendency to describe the simple and un unnecessarily complex terms. Just the plain and the garb of false learning. Like you're doing right there. The conjunction of the spheres might serve as an excellent example of this. To the name. So mysterious to commoners, ear can be replaced with a much simpler alternative, when the worlds collided. The phenomenon itself can also be explained in terms simple enough for a child to understand. Imagine, dear reader, that our world is a ship sailing on a great sea. From its deck, we can see other distant vessels. Those are the stars. These vessels each bear their own goods and their own crews. They usually pass us at some distance, barely visible specks, even viewed through a spyglass. Once every few thousand years, however, a storm breaks above this cosmic sea, a storm so strong it tosses the ships towards one another, making them sail cheek by jowl. Part of the crew of one ship can, at such times, move to another, and some of the cargo from one ship's hold can spill into a neighboring vessel. When the weather calms, the ships separate once again and sail their separate and variably different ways. The so-called post-conjunction beings, any monsters such as ghouls and basilisks, are precisely such passengers from another vessel. And we humans are castaways, flung against our will from somewhere far away onto a world previously inhabited by the... Oh, 
Do you think so? Once here, we learn the arcane mysteries of magic, unbeknownst to us before. Could the world collide once more? Perhaps. Can this cataclysm be avoided or the opposite? Hasten. Some scholars believe there are beings who have mastered the skill, who possess rare genes, allow, which allow some to seize the helm of our vessel and steer us. To save for waters or to doom. That must be maybe what sources are. Kind of. Like Siri. Um, I did not think about that. I thought humans were here, but... It, you don't see much about, like, anything written before humans came to be, but I, I thought maybe it was just two worlds colliding, like, one with monsters and one without. But I wonder if... But there were... Were these, like, two different conjunctions where maybe humans got thrown into this world and then another conjunction happened, like, later, and it threw in monsters and stuff? That's interesting. But where's the... Where's the... The knight with the vampire? Maybe I've already read that. Yeah, Triss was allergic to potions. It was uh, quite a problem in one of the books. They really just went to town in here and tore the place apart. Like, were they... Did she do it, or did somebody come looking for her? I mean, it seems kind of strange. Witches are able to cast simple spells, blah blah blah. Indeed, the tree real magic with reserve and distrust. Widespread in their rings is an irrational mind to superstitious fear of teleportation. They remind you that deadly accidents during the translocational travel occur only once per hundred instances of such travel. This aversion certainly stems from the fact that witches do not possess inborn magic talents, but instead gain them during their infamous travel of the grasses. It can thus be said that their casting spells are the front to nature, as in, as is, in fact, everything witchers do. Yeah. I've heard that. With sorcerers get really upset when when they think about witchers using magic because they had to suffer for, like, eons to learn the trade, and witchers just, like, you know, they don't. So I wonder if anybody, I don't think anybody can become a sorceress or sorcerer. You have to have magic, but a casket, jeez. Um, technically, Gerald, I don't know if it's, I mean, I'm sure it is bloodline in a way, but why is that, like, glittering like that? A rose? Which is not quite the devil's you thought. Oh, yeah, here we go. So she has, it's interesting to kind of read the books that are, like, I think for Triss, at least, the books will be, sort of, try to, try to indicate to you what kind of person she is. She's obsessed with Jeral. She has these witcher books here. A conviction has arisen amongst both mages in the whole poli that witchers barely rise a hair's breadth above animals. That they are deformed of blood, thirsty mutants, and it's like a they do not limit themselves to the foods of monsters. Meanwhile, the research and observations of Virgil of Van Eyre point to an entirely different picture of this case. Of course, cat, cat is case. Of course, it is, is, it is an indisputable fact that the mutations which just undergo influence of temperament, immune system, strength, and endurance, yet one cannot consider them unthinking beings forged only for killing as a result. In fact, witchers cultivate a unique culture, a specialized body of knowledge, an effective training system, and even a code of honor. They know an incredible amount about the effects of ingesting various organic and inorganic substances, and also a small amount, but nonetheless, something, about the fundamentals of magic, by which I mean the simple spells they call signs. On the surface, witches appear to be a homo homogenous ancestral entity, but in truth, their fighting styles, training regimens, and worldviews differ significantly depending upon the school to which they adhere. The best known winter schools are the contingent of the School of the Wolf, School of the Bear, School of the Griffin, School of the Viper, and School of the Cat. Interesting. Rose, Rose of, of Remembrance. All dried up. I don't remember what the Rose of Remembrance is. <laughs> that, was, that was not in the books I read. But, you know, there is, you know, the, whoa. Trisses. Never knew her to drop them on the floor. The clothes? Hmm. Trunk's been thrown open. What's your signs? Which we, is there more? No, okay. Okay, I believe we've gotten everything in the house. A nice place. It's just it, it's in it's in games it's in Fallout games it's in every, it's in a lot of games or like in books and movies. The discrepancy between what looks like a highly cultured society 
and the degradations they're willing to put up with or encourage to keep the allure, the illusion of their society. The few that benefit. Yes? Okay, I gotta find a thief. Or a shady individual. Oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Um... Talk with beggars about the king of beggars. I'd rather do that first. Hmm. Let's see. Um... How much did they sell the magnificent property for? I have no idea. Traveler. Bard, a bard. Can you talk to a bard? Yes, master. Bards would know things. Traveler? Oh, not a traveler. Oh, excuse me, guy. What's this? Oh, Triss! Ah! King Radovid. This is locked. Oh, uh, there's a beggar over here. Okay, the, the yellow circles are different. Arms for the poor. Oh boy. That guy's in a cart. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, none of them come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me, brother. Fuck if I know. <laughs> There's this place it's in Novigrad goes in stories, they call though. Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. <laughs> now, don't make no offense. Go in peace. Okay. What's this quest over here? Is it this person? Oh, me! I am very handsome. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, steal them. Yeah, yeah. To the babes transform into beasts wretched as themselves. My man carries his pitchfork like you on his back. I say you're both daft. Huh? Why don't you Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone oh, age. He's like half my size. Like a withered branch. Hmm. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Has done. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preachers fierce in the mouth. But all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Wow, I like that. The two finger wave. Ah, it, It'll pay off, they ah. Sorry. Oh, good. We dispersed a mob. Excellent. Good, good, good. Glad we could resolve that peaceably. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I just saw an artist over there. Well, where are the little... Okay. I need to go not to these big ones, but to the little ones. Go to that one first. Look at this. Such a 
bright colors. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, I love it. And it's like, you wouldn't see it unless you happen to be coming from this direction, maybe. It's kind of hidden. I wonder what they were actually trying to paint. Or if they were if they were trying to paint something real in like the real life, or if they were just like, I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. What did you say? Wealthy? Oh, okay. Come on, me. Whoop! Whoop! Can I... Okay. I was like, I should climb up there. You lame. No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. <laughs> there. See me waving them? Look here. Just look. <laughs> He's like, My yeah, mind, yeah. Thorough adult. Been <laughs> like this long, adult. Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's adult. Hey, showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. Okay. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it, but won't say. I know it, but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you, though, if you didn't push, you weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. I might tell you then. I guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? <laughs> didn't I say so? Had a little mini snack there. Wait. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled. But the rest of me spit I'm a, a war of... veteran. Come on, guy, please. So, like I said, this so... for the putrid grove. Second time round, your wish is my command. It's that away. There. That away. Meaning <laughs> where? Point. Nice halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say the old sow's farrow piglets might not let you in then. But that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrow piglets. He's like, uh, yes. It's our Thanks marine. for your help. Oh, okay. Uh, all right then. So I don't have to go talk to the other ones. <laughs> Okie dokie, Smokey. Wait, where is it at? I need to find Triss. I need to focus. Gotta find Triss. Over here? I gotta go across a bridge. Or, or that bridge. No, I think that's, that's blocked off for me. Hmm. High Arc Square, huh? Oh, there's a freaking notice board in there. So many notice boards. Thanks, beggar. Adult beggar. Oh, it's raining. Per it's perfect. It's perfect weather to go freaking try to save someone from a Looks like rain. rain. Yep. I don't care. No override fish market. Cross into the poor section of town. Ooh, what yeah, you don't, please don't, don't. I have, I have like nightmares from that in Assassin's Creed. The eternal um, fire will light our way. Any religion that condones the killing of others is not. It's not. It's not a religion. Open up. It's just a cover for those in power. There I am, what you want. Okay, tell him free. Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Oh. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I like to tiptoe through the tulips. I hope this is actually the password. Old sow's pharaoh piglets. Ah. 
Sweet! Welcome to so the crowd. So talking to that Bravo. that beggar was a good idea. I don't know if any of the other ones would have told me the password, but that guy told me the password. I'm glad I went back and talked to him a second time. He still had the little marker on him, so... Okay, Geralt was walking for a second. There's a merchant... Er, in... In here? Oh! Mm -hmm. Nah. Gwent, play me. What are you offering? Oh, I was hoping to get some interesting things. Well, maybe. Let's see. Gnomish prankings. Opposition in Nilfgaard. Why are books so expensive? I would like to get them. Oh, I need a... Oh, uh... Oh, okay, it's not as good. I'd like to look at it, though. What did I... That's different. Oh, it looks cool, but it's not very good. Okay. <sighs> Too bad. Oh, uh... Oh, he doesn't! Just buy a little tiny bit! That's funny. Okay, well, at least it was worth a lot of coin. Oh, wait a second. He will buy these ones, but not... Oh, you cannot sell the Foglet Trophy. 5% bonus gold. Cool. I have two. I've already read that. Um... You get a lot of money for books. Okay. Cool, I didn't realize. I've never been able to really sell books. You know? Alright. That was not worth as much, but... Okay. In most games, you can't, like, sell them. Well, there you go, guy. I gave you a whole bunch of books for all the people that I'm sure come to you looking for books. Bye. See you. <laughs> he's like, yes, I guess. Oh, he's still got something pretty in here. Music's super creepy in here! King of Beggars Henchmen, okie dokie. I'm very nervous. A mage! Thank you, my lord. The right miracle you've worked, I'd like to repay. Convince those knaves on the city council that spells are not needed on a wedding, but positively indispensable. You won't listen, my lord. You're scared of Menga. In that case, please convey that if anyone knows it for real, he can stick his head in the flames of the eternal fire. Now, let me need some rest. Interesting. Is he doing it for free? Okay. Chris, is Chris over here? Where? In the building. In. That's okay. Whoa. Nope. Okay. Lying in the street. Someone took it. You let me stop. How are things? Good. More and more people come to our secret clinics looking for help. Manker's hounds not scaring them off anymore. I guess in cure of disease is more terrifying than torture. In that case, I'll count on more tributes And that's the Beggar in. King! We already take 80% of what we receive. Right, but don't forget it's me who secures the nooks and crannies where you and yours can hide. Tris! About time we made something clear, Sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you... Well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I Hi. spy? Hi! Geralt? Hey! Hey, Triss. Oh, Geralt! See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. Uh-huh. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? 
man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. Well crafted, what? See, Witcher, I've got plans. Big plans. He's got Far tattooed tears, plans I think. To reshape this city think, head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire I like as Chris's its outfit. puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition. Yeah, I would almost believe you. The hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Except for Nonsense what you just said to Triss. Kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. Yeah. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now. I'll leave you two alone. Because like I see, well, you clearly need it. Ah, uh, watch yourself, buddy. Harold, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. Aw, cute! But he's, he's, he's measuring. He's measuring everything he sees. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Help a poor fellow out. 